Welcome to Lifeway Kids Church Online. I'm Pastor Christine, and I'm so glad you're here today. Give me a thumbs up if you're having a great day today. Give me a thumbs down if you're having a rough day. And give me a thumb sideways if you're somewhere in the middle. Well, hopefully all of you will be feeling thumbs up by the time that we leave here today. If you remember, we are talking about integrity this month. And integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you do and say. That means you don't have to try to be someone you're not. You're happy to be you. You can live truthfully and follow God no matter where you are. To kick things off today, I've got another fun game that requires all of us to be truthful. Are you ready for game time? All right, are you ready for game time? I know I am. Today's game is called Three Truths and a Lie, and it's all about your leaders. We're gonna tell you three truths and one lie, and you have to guess which are true and which one is a lie. So are you ready? I'm gonna tell you four things about me, and one of them is not true, and you've gotta guess which one. Okay, ready? Fact number one. I, during the day, am a nurse. Okay, think about if you think that's true or a lie. Fact number two, I am the mother of five children. Okay, think if you think that's the truth or a lie. Okay, fact number three, my favorite color is purple. What do you think? You think that's true? And my last fact is my favorite candy of all time is jelly beans. Do you think that's true or a lie? All right, guys, my four facts were I am a nurse, I have five children, my favorite color is purple, and jelly beans are my favorite candy. Which one do you think is a lie? The one that was not truthful is my favorite color because if you know me, you know my favorite color is not purple, but it's yellow. Everything else is true. Number one, my favorite color is pastel pink. Number two, I have a dog named Mateo. Number three, my favorite fruit is an apple. Number four, I like wearing rainbow colors. The lie was my favorite fruit is an apple. Okay, so my favorite color is blue. My favorite animal is a cat. Um, my favorite fruit is a banana. And my favorite snack is Cheez-Its. My favorite animal is a dog. My four facts are, one, I grew up with a really big family. Uh, number two, I worked in athletics at the University of Connecticut. Number three is I played football in college. Uh, number four is there was a period of time where I worked about 18 hours a day doing two jobs. The untruth was that I grew up with a large family. I had one brother. Okay, guys, it is time to worship our amazing God together. So if you would stand, we are going to sing. Before the day, I took a breath. You had a plan for my every step. Side, I believe that you are the way, you are the truth, you are the lie, so I sing this to you. Okay. You keep your promises every day. I will believe in everything that you say. Yeah, in the dark, I know you're making a way. Jesus, I will trust you. You're always good in everything that you do. And I know everything that you say is true. 
Hello, friends. It's me, Graham. And I am a hero! Uh-oh! Oh, oh, oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, okay, I'm, I'm not a real hero, but I'm pretending to be one. It's fun to be a hero because heroes have integrity. Integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. And heroes, above everything else, are truthful. Of course, it's also fun to pretend to be the villain. Now you will know the power of the bucket. For I, Buckethead, am your second cousin once removed. No, that's impossible! We look nothing alike! Would I lie to you? Uh, yeah, probably. You're right, I probably would. Ah. Uh, 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 the good thing about pretending to be the bad guy is that I can stop pretending anytime I want. But as you'll see in today's story, when you cheat and lie in real life, it's a little harder to take your mask off. It's really hard to breathe in here. I'll see you all back here soon. <coughs> Okay, okay, I think it's on. <laughs> oh. Hello, my name is Brandon, and this is the so-and-so show because I'm so smart and so cool. Watch me do the robot. <laughs> Thank you, but seriously, I can't do the show without John. He's the best co-host I could ask for. John may be the best co-host out of all the co-hosts in the country, nay, the universe. It should be the John and John show. You should definitely tell John how awesome he is next time you see him, maybe in a tweet or a positively worded social media post, hashtag John is the grooviest. John, what are you doing? Nothing. Are you wearing the mask of me again? What mask? Hand it over. Come on, just a little more fun. No, it's confusing. Hand it over. Fine. Here. Thank you. What happens when I put this on? No. Brandon! Oh, uh, don't! <laughs> How do I look? Uh... Hello everyone, my name is Brandon. And I'm John. And this is the So-and-So Show. <laughs> What was that? Oh, don't worry about it. It's this. It's got a phantom. A phantom? Yeah, you know, like the musical, The Phantom of the Opera, where there's a guy in a mask that wreaks havoc all over a Paris opera house. It's, it's like that, but. But here. Yeah. Huh. He's the phantom of my basement. <laughs> <laughs> it's really annoying. Why is he here? Please don't ask that. Oh, you will know, John. You will know very soon why I am here. I, I hired an exterminator, but... <laughs> but, um... <laughs> but... <laughs> okay, okay, we get it. Should we, um... Invite him on, you know, maybe as a, someone who knows stuff? No, don't encourage him. He'll just try to take over. You can't stop me from taking over, John! <laughs> just ignore him. What are we gonna do today? Uh... Well, I, I thought that uh, we could play a game. Okay. I thought that we could pretend that we were sheep, right? And then one of us... Could I'm sorry, I don't think I can ignore this. It's just too distracting. Just... <laughs> John, 
you've got to do something about that. It's actually not that bad once you get used to it. Hello, fellas. Oh, hello, Sylvia. Uh, how are things today? Oh, just fine, thank you. How are things with you? Oh, same old, same old. Just trying to keep things clean. Wouldn't want things to get messy. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't want that. <laughs> uh. Oh, well, I guess I'll be leaving now mm, to do my job. Nothing mysterious. <laughs> okay, see you, Silvio. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Who was that, John? That's Silvio. That's my basement's custodian. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know your basement had a custodian. What? You don't think this place keeps its shining glory all by itself, do you? <laughs> He's clearly the Phantom, though, right? What? No. No. The, the no. Phantom wears a mask. All right. Silvio doesn't wear a mask. Yeah, but has he been here as long as the Phantom has? Yes. Does he say creepy things and stare off into the distance all the time? Yes, of course, but all custodians all right, do that. Here's a picture of Silvio. All right. And now... I left the stove on. Oh, whew. almost burned my skedios. Oh, hey, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, guys. Hey, Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Hello, Kellen. Oh! Uh, what was that? Phantom? Huh. Maybe, maybe you could talk in private. I'll call you. Will this work? Sure. Why not? I just want to make one adjustment. Whoa, Kellen, what happened? You look shiny. Well, that's a filter. Those are the buttons at the bottom of the screen. People use them for social media all the time. Filters make us look better than we feel. Well, they can also do this. Whoa, whoa. Ah. Do you guys smell something in here? Woo <laughs> all right, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it here. Hold on. Oh, look at me, I'm so studious. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, bah, I think I've lost bah, control bah, here. Bah, 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 Aren't filters bah, off? Bum, 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 Oh. Yeah, like I was saying, filters make you look better than you actually are. Here, I can look cool. Sir. Or, I could be rich and famous. Hello, I'm rich and famous. Or, you don't like where you're at? You can be somewhere else, like the beach. Or, even Paris, France. Or, even outer space. Ooh, I'm in outer space. You can be anywhere you want, and you can be any one you want. With filters, no one has to know if you're sad or angry or embarrassed or awkward. Filters can always make you the best version of you. Yeah, that's a good story, Kellen. I don't think he's gotten to the story yet. Ah. Uh. It's not really a story, actually. It's more of a verse. Check it out. God is faithful and fair. If we confess our sins, he will forgive our sins. He will forgive every wrong thing we have done. He will make us pure. You see, God wants to see when we're sad or angry or embarrassed or awkward. And he wants us to tell him when we've broken the rules or made a choice we don't feel good about. He wants us to come to him unfiltered. Even though it may be hard to be yourself with others, you can always be yourself with God because he loves you and he will forgive you of every wrong thing you've ever done. 
And that, my friends, puts a smile on my face. Me too. Me three. Well, I'll see you when I see you guys. Bye, Kellen. You know, I think I probably do hide my real self sometimes, mm. but I've learned I don't have to do that with God. Oh, yeah, and I've learned only text LOL to someone if I've literally laughed out loud. Otherwise, it'd be like lying, right? I guess. I have also learned something. What have you learned, Phantom? This. What? Silvio? Yes, John. I know. I left no clue. What an unexpected reveal. Ah, yes. Reveal the question. What do you talk to God about? Uh, yeah, I mean, for me, it could be anything. I tell God about my day. My hopes and dreams. My greatest fears, like antique furniture. And now, I must leave you. Wait! Are you still gonna clean here? Well, consider this my two weeks notice. Is that the only way he can leave a room? What do you talk to God about? Talk about it with each other. Or just talk about it with God. Oh, even better. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Bye. That was perfect timing. <laughs> that was perfect timing. <laughs>
We never have to wonder if we can tell God about what we've done wrong. He always loves us. He will always forgive us. When Jesus gave his life for us on the cross, he made it possible for us to have a relationship with God. We don't have to worry about our sin getting between us and God because Jesus has already defeated sin and death. That means we don't have to hide. We don't have to keep secrets. We can be honest. We can have a close relationship with God because of Jesus. Being truthful with God keeps you close to him. So when you mess up, don't try and hide it. Talk to God and tell him you're sorry. Remember, he always loves you and he will always forgive you. Let's pray and ask God to help us live truthfully. Let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for always loving us. Help us remember that we can trust you no matter what. Thank you for sending Jesus to pay the price for our sins so we can be forgiven for what we've done wrong. Please help us to be truthful and honest with you and remember that you'll always be there to forgive us. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, have a great week. We'll see you next time. Maybe once in a while You cover up an itty bitty lie with a big fat smile But an itty bitty lie still lying, that's not your style But stick to the middle of the path from mile to mile Maybe you want it real bad so you'd say it okay. Maybe you make the promise but then you break it Maybe you didn't learn the words so you fake it And you feel a little low But if instead you move it straight ahead Keeping your promises You'll be living straight up If you move too far to the side then you're gonna get stuck might feel like a little lie, but it's gonna catch up Do what you say you're gonna do, you'll be on your way up Said you're on your way up You'll be living straight up Maybe you've got a crew And he said we're gonna do the good things that good friends do and everybody's still a good friend who sticks like glue Cause everybody did what they said and everybody was true Maybe you wanted it but you didn't take it Maybe you promised and then you didn't break it Maybe you learned the words so you didn't fake it And now it Everybody knows But if instead You move it straight ahead Keeping your promises You'll be living straight up If you move too far to the side Then you're gonna get stuck It might feel like a little lie But it's gonna catch up do what you say you're gonna do, you'll be on your way up Said you're on your way up You'll be living straight up If you move too far to the side, then you're gonna get stuck It might feel like a little lie, but it's gonna catch up Do what you say you're gonna do, you'll be on your way up Said you're on your way up You can choose to be true, not just to everybody else, but true to you. You can choose to be true, not just to everybody else, but true to you. True to
to you